In this video, you will learn how to install the Solar Roll powertrain on a Wade Rain Power Roll frame. Please remember to pause this video to get the hardware and tools you will need for each step when they are listed. First, install the powertrain bracket on the frame. The bracket uses the existing bolt holes and does not require any drilling. Be sure to only finger tighten the nuts at this stage. When installing the gearbox, position it so that the gears align correctly. Once correctly positioned, secure it with the hardware provided. Once the gearbox is fastened, then slide the bracket so that the pinion gear and the jack shaft are properly meshed. Once properly meshed, now you can tighten the hardware and secure the bracket to the frame. When installing the drive shaft support bearing, do not forget to install the gear guard first. Then install the support bearing and secure it to the powertrain bracket. Once tight, tighten the set screws on the support bearing itself to the shaft. Before installing the motor, be sure to install the key stock on the motor shaft. If you don't, then the motor will not work properly. Next, align the motor shaft and the key stock with the inlet to the gearbox and slide into place. Then secure the motor to the gearbox with the hardware. Ensure that the motor terminals are correctly positioned with the S1 and the A1 terminals on top. Now install the motor shroud. Be sure that the shroud is seated against the rubber grommets at the base of the stud. Do not secure the shroud if it is contacting the stud, since this will short the motor and it will not work correctly. For installing the control box, ensure that the control box is in the off position. The control box will come pre-installed on the control bracket. Secure the control box bracket to the powertrain bracket with the supplied hardware. When placing the batteries, be sure that the battery terminals are facing each other. Then make sure that the battery restraint is installed and either lock it in place or use a supplied nut and bolt to fasten the restraint in place. Now, install the battery leads to their corresponding colors. Then install the jumper cable between the batteries. This puts the batteries in a series, giving the machine the required 24 volts for operation.
Install the motor leads by connecting the harness to the control box bracket and ensure that the harness colors match black to black and gray to gray. Then install the motor leads to the motor and match the pre-labeled leads to the corresponding posts on the motor. Tighten the leads with the supplied hardware. When attaching the handle, it is easiest to place the hoods upside down to access the mounting points. Once the hood is properly positioned, install the handle with the supplied hardware. When mounting the antenna, be sure to run the antenna cable behind the antenna bracket and leave enough slack in the cable to connect the antenna. This ensures that the cable has a drip point to avoid any accumulation of water at the cable and the antenna connection. Be sure that the momentary switch is installed with the label facing the bottom of the hood. Now install the emergency stop button through the hood and secure it with the capture nut supplied in the hardware. Plug in the emergency stop button. If this is not connected completely, then the machine will not work since this will act as though the emergency stop has been engaged. Now connect the momentary switch wires and match the wire color with the corresponding color code on the switch. Install the hood bracket with the supplied hardware and tighten. Install the hood catch to the front of the hood and be sure that the catch is oriented towards the top of the hood. Now place the hood on the frame and align the hood tabs. Then fasten the hood with the supplied hardware. The front of the hood should be over the motor and the back of the hood should be over the batteries. Older power roll frames may be oriented the opposite way. If this is the case, then the tabs may need to be welded to the rear of the frame by the back. Now install the antenna cable to the control box and be sure not to over tighten the antenna connection. Then connect the automotive connector. Be sure that the locking nut slides in and locks into the position or else the connection may come loose during operation. Close the hood and attach the rubber hood latch to complete your installation.